Well, the city of Victoria finds itself on a new top 10 list, this time for crime in the 21st century, cybercrime. Victoria is in 10th spot behind four other BC cities, including Vancouver. But in that same report, the city of Victoria ranks first for its heavy use of Wi-Fi. And that is one of the reasons why Victoria cracked the top 10 on the cybercrime list and why some believe the city may move higher in years to come. CTV's Joe Perkins says the story. He joins us live with the tales new at 6. Joe. Hudson, if you have a smartphone and you're in Victoria, you really don't have to look too hard for a Wi-Fi connection. But once you find one, you might want to think twice about how you use it. You can find them sitting in the back of a downtown coffee shop, or you can find them online. 100% uh, all the time. I don't have a landline, can't afford it. So, yeah, I'm always at cafes and Wi-Fi. That's because it's free and increasingly accessible. Open and available access to everybody in the community is incredibly important. So important, Liam McLaughlin and his not-for-profit helped set up Wi-Fi for all of Market Square. It's just one of many free Wi-Fi locations popping up in Victoria and across the country. But if you tap into one, you should know. If they're using a credit card, I can see the credit card number they're entering. I can see their security number on the back. I can see all that kind of stuff. He's not a criminal. He's an expert on cybercrime, and he proved it. So this gentleman, you can see that he's on his Facebook Correct. because you have this program. Correct. And you can take control of his Facebook Yes. Page. The walkthrough was only a demo of one of many free downloadable programs that allow anyone access to someone else's computer, as long as the user is using public Wi-Fi. It's a cybercrime and one that has Victoria in 10th spot on a new list of the riskiest online cities in the country. Well, the data about Victoria tells me a couple things. The most significant, she says, that Victoria is number one in the country for Wi-Fi use. Lynn, with more Wi-Fi hotspots popping up across downtown Victoria, could we not be poised to move higher up this risk list next year? You know what, the list is changing every year and I wouldn't rule it out. But I will never use an open Wi-Fi. And neither is Darren Lahr. In fact, he says... I hopefully will be number one one day, is what I think. It may sound puzzling, but both the cybercrime expert and the Wi-Fi proponent argue a city that offers free internet is a good thing. I have nothing else just for basic telecommunications. Being able to get email your, uh, members of parliament, government, uh, work, family, that's tremendously important and can be a lifesaver for a lot of people. It's cool because it's enabling, but we've got to be thinking about what we're doing online. Because if you're not... They could hack into Yahoo, Twitter, Tumblr. You could be next. You could be next, but you don't have to be experts. Say, if you're going to use a public Wi-Fi connection, there are a couple things you need to remember. The first is that everything you do on Wi-Fi can be made open to the public. It's permanent. It can be searched out. Uh, the second is open Open Wi-Fi networks should never be used for things like online banking. Anything where there's personal information, especially banking numbers that are shared. And third, get a virtual privacy network. They're called VPNs. Uh, they're free. They're downloadable online, and uh, they help prevent against any hackers. And a good one, Hudson, of course, is uh, make your password complicated. Throw in a couple numbers through a uh, few capital letters, and that's Not a big one. Not your birthday. Not your birthday, no. <laughs> All right, Joe, thank you. You're welcome.